Well, this video was supposed to be about uh, me and Preacher's Day off uh, going hunting for a couple of does here in northwest Arkansas. But uh, I'm having issues with my GoPro. So everything after I climbed down out of my stands just didn't record. Um, the video of me talking with him about the, about the shots, uh, about the deer, about... Uh, the video of me walking down the trail after my shot, uh, talking about the day's hunt, it's all gone. Uh, I'm going to get me some more uh, micro SD cards and see if that'll fix the issue. But uh, everything after I stuck my back, my f camera in my backpack and then pulled it back out after climbing out of the stand, just not there. So I apologize about that. I apologize to Preacher. I'm going to put a link to his video uh, down in the... Uh, uh, description and you can take a look at uh, his hunt there so instead I've taken uh, when life's giving me lemons I'm going to turn this into lemonade and make this a two-part video about one uh, about the validity of uh, of solid copper rounds uh, and hunting and two why stupid young bucks are always the first ones to get shot so that being a long title uh, We'll just get right to it. This whole meadow is just circled with white oaks. I put a berry block out two days ago. They've already chewed an inch and a half to two inches off of it, so it's pretty windy today. We'll see if they'll come out before dark. A lot of deer have been coming out where I got preacher. He's uh He's got about a 200 yard shot, but he's got a good wrist to shoot off of in a tripod stand. So, uh, wish us luck. We'll let you know. There's the big path off to the left. For a right hand shooter, that's good. Down there's my feed block and corn. There's some attractant. They fall along this tree line there. And, and out of sight where we are is another uh, big trail. Kind of goes to about my 11 o'clock, but it's just barely hidden. Here's this uncut meadow. Getting up here is just too big a hassle. For him to cut hay. Need to cut the stinking limb out of my way, but I forgot my saw today. Anyways, here we are. I'm gonna try to knock one down. So in this next sequence, uh, you'll see where uh, a small young buck walks out and uh, a doe is right behind him. Uh, they are directly downwind from me, and I am concerned that. Uh, they're going to win me so instead of letting them get closer and uh, taking a quick shot whenever she raised her nose and and looked straight at me I went ahead and uh, took the shot uh, I'm using a 165 grain Hornady GMX this is 308 it's loaded up with 46 grains of CFE 223 and you watch this next se sequence and tell me if this copper round is not devastating in a hunting hunting situation, you be the judge.
now I ended up shooting her high in the neck uh, going for a spine shot I shot her high in the neck and the shot came out just behind her back ribs and through the spine instantly instantly killing the deer so any movement you see is purely uh, neurological but uh, the hydrostatic shock of these Hornady GMX rounds is devastating. I've shot deer with them. I've shot hogs with them. Uh, so if you're wanting a tough round that you can push to really high speeds and uh, be devastating, this is it. Folks in states uh, like California where you can't use lead, you got nothing to worry about. These copper rounds, I love these Hornady GMXs. I love the Barnes TSX and TTSX rounds. There's absolutely no game in North America that I would not take with these. So uh, enjoy the rest of the hunt. Uh, the rest of this is going to be uh, me observing and talking about uh, why uh, stupid bucks always get shot first. Education. <laughs> 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 
to leave it back. He's got three points on one side. Get on out of here. Go on. Get on out of here. <laughs> He's just standing two feet in the woods over there. Stupid deer. Well, now the work starts. We got one to tell you. This is why young deer get shot all the time. I've chased him off twice. Oh, there's Harold shooting. Why young deer get shot. You hear me talking, don't you? I'm talking about you. You need to run away. Go on. Go on. Get out of here. Go on. Get. You big dummy. I'm waving my hand at you now. Go on. See, Ronnie would have shot this deer. Ronnie's my business partner. Just for being dumb. One of these rednecks around here running around the road is going to shoot you. Yeah, but we're here to kill those. I want you to grow up and get smart. Get big horns. Go on. Go on. Get. Run away. Go on. Get on out of here. There you go. <laughs> <laughs>